for Final Fantasy II, this was the day that it was beaten. For me, it was only Tuesday. (laughs) (laughs) Welcome, guys, to the end, finally, of Final Fantasy II. Finally. Yeah! It only took two months of my life to beat this game. Lots of trying uh, trying over and over again. Lots of strategy guides. Lots of forums. Lots of heckling. I'm ready. Let's do this. I have a, I have my cast with me. I'm going to start with the lady across from me. Go! Lady 356. And the person on her left will not talk. So he is the ghost of Mr. M. <laughs> and on to... V for Extreme. Very good. And... Shank! Whoa, Shank's a lot for that great uh, introduction. You're welcome! So, hopefully, if you're watching this, that means that most of you have probably come from the blog, and if not, then I'm glad that you are joining us today for the end, because really, why do you need the rest of the game if you can just watch the end? I mean, you would be able to solve so many mysteries. I don't know, I'm just saying, I saw the end of Final Fantasy 1. Yeah, terrible. that created more mysteries than it opened. Yeah. Happy, to, happy to say that the end of Final Fantasy 2 is a lot more tolerable. Oh, good. Really I'm just one. creating my movie file, and then we're going to begin in just a minute. So, as... Nope, that's not the button to press. Let's try again. Yeah, you. Watch Mitchell not be able to talk in a normal sentence. So I forgot to introduce shot. myself. Feel you. I am no I am no average Mitch and we are going to begin now. I've cut out a little bit of the end just so that we're starting right at the end of Jade Passage, because otherwise this area would be way too long. So I've done a lot of the groundwork. Let's take a little bit of a look at my uh, character stats real quick. I've got the lovely Mazmune, which will do which will cast Taste Eleven if I use it. Who do you think you are, Frog? No, he has the mass of me. Maria it's has no <laughs> has no weapons or uh, shields in her hand because she casts better without anything in her hands. However, she's going to keep this Yoichi bow in, on the side so that she can cast Berserk. Berserk is still just a make you stronger but not crazy. Right, it doesn't make you crazy, it just makes you stronger. Guy has a Quartz Armor equipped, which is not as good at defense, but it lets him evade a little better. Did you not have armor? Uh, For a little while, he did not have any armor on, that's right. So, I discovered that the best way to go through this game is not through attack and defense, but having a very high evade. So many thanks to my sources on the internet, which I looked up and I have credited in my actual blog entries, evade lets you dodge attacks, lets you sometimes even dodge status effects, even determines turn order and the ability to run away. That's just really evade. The most amazing, the most amazing stat. So Furion had ninety nine percent. Maria has zero percent, but it's okay because she's sitting in the back. Guy has seventy eight percent because he's wearing the ribbon, and Leon's up to fifty three percent because he has the ribbon. Let's look at. I shortened the, their uh, spell books for a little bit just so that they're able to. So I can actually pick the commands a little quicker. A spell is that? A spell is uh, is Osmos in the later games where he steal MP. Oh. Ooh. Ooh la la. We have Flar up here. Flar. <laughs> also known as Flare. There's only four letters. There's all nine Flar? Uh-huh. I find Flar a lot better than Ultima because it's linked to intelligence. Uh, he's not going to be using magic. <coughs> right, he has one intelligence. Yeah, and his will be, uh, his will be for emergency purposes. Guy, strong and stupid. Look at that intelligence. I worked hard for that. <laughs> Alright, guys. It's almost as stupid. So I came along this long jade passage and to nothing, and then... Whoa! Be warped! Into where? And this is exactly where I said. where I uh, What I said, too, when I made it. At last. Pandemonium. And it does that every time he comes into Pandemonium. Well, they're that excited. They're happy to see us. It has a lot of fake doors. Mm hmm. There's my guy who looks like Commander Gotus. That reminds me of a. What? 
a, a stronger version of a uh, firebrand. Hmm. it? Yes. I know every commit show, you don't have to suppress the urge to smash up this game with a hammer after you beat it. Mmm. Maybe well, you, know you had to smash up the I didn't, laptop. I didn't. I didn't smash it on Friday when I tested it out. So that's good. You still had to record it though. That's true. <laughs> now that I'm recording, now the pressure's on. Now you're okay. done with it. It's yeah, but I'll say you technically haven't beaten it yet. I mean, not on camera. Yeah. Exactly. And that's all that matters. <laughs> hey, it's um, mm-hmm. Carrie. Okay. <laughs> Looks like Carrie from the first game. And nine. Well, hmm. what does she turn her name to? Marilith? Marilith. Marilith. Or Marilith. I hate that enemy, by the way. Krell. No, no, not the enemy. The one he killed first. So, I've been playing Final Fantasy yes. 3, getting ready for the blog for that, and I have to say, I love how in Final Fantasy 3, I can auto-target, so that if uh, so that I don't hit the air like in the first two games. I'm gonna miss that. Diamond armor. Psh, I don't need that. I don't, I don't need that. Oh, I have to show you the ridiculousness, even though I showed it in the blog. Starting from the hear you, all the way down to the bottom. These are all key items that I can't get rid of and I can't store. Dang. Taking uh, up all my space. And that you're no longer using. Right, and I can't keep multiples of things. Dang, thank goodness they actually added the key item slot <laughs> in later <laughs> <Yeah>. games. <laughs> I think they should just let you sell key items and screw yourself over. <laughs> or just whenever you're done using it, get rid of it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Or like give it to like a friend. Be like, here, Sid, if you weren't dead, take this. Speaking of which, my favorite line in this game is when uh, Sid dies and you talk to Paul the Thief and he says, that was his last will. Don't you get it? He's dead. I never had to take well, he's kind of a jerk. I mean, he says he's a thief, but he looks like a ninja. He also breaks you out of jail at one point. Is he the thief? He watches over Sid, so he's like a he's like a guardian angel also. See, you know what he's starting to sound like to me? Batman? No. Oh. Old Raven. Old Raven from Tales of Vesperia? Yeah. I mean, he gets you, helps you get out of jail. That's true. Jail, get out of jail free card. Mm-hmm. Well, it wasn't free. He just told you where to go. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyone notice that Leon looks like a palette swap of uh, Furium? Yeah, that's the first <laughs> thing I noticed. And they're not related, right? It's no, they're not. Maria and Leon. Maria and Leon are brother and sister. And sister Leon and brother, Leon. respectively. Apparently, those two are the only smart people in the party. Mm-hmm. Intelligence runs the family. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I, I, I Leon's also a jerk, though. I yeah, sir. For the, for the uninitiated, you have Furion, Maria, and Guy throughout the entire game. Leon's with you during the prologue, but after you get defeated by a bunch of Death Knights, you are separated from him. And throughout the game, you're, you're, uh, you never actually fight him, but you encounter the Dark Knight several times. And throughout the game, Maria will say things like, Why does he sound so familiar? And then someone says, Oh, it's Leon. And then in one of my other videos, I show a part where, she, where Hilda says, Oh, I forgot all about him. Wow. <laughs> no wonder he's angry at us. I'll say, no wonder he was evil. Mm-hmm. So, what was your favorite other party member? My favorite other party member was probably Layla, just because for the first time in the Final Fantasy series up to this point, there was a good pirate, as opposed Arr. to a crappy pirate that dies in one, one hit. And your least favorite? Gordon. Gordon was the wimpy prince of Cashuan. <laughs> what about Min? Min is awesome. Unfortunately, you only get him in the beginning of the game for a little bit. So, a what? little bit of history of this game. This game was developed by Kawazu, who would go on later to make the the Mana series and the Saga series. And the Saga series, y'all know, is like Romancing Saga... But also, like, Final Fantasy Legend for Game Boy was made by him. Do which is why... I'm sorry, go ahead. Mystic Quest? I don't remember... He did Mystic Quest? Okay, I'm asking. I don't know, because... Well, go ahead. Something that I noticed, um, a lot of this map, like, um, a lot of this uh-huh. looks like it's from Mystic Quest. Yeah. Well, well not really, from Mystic Quest, but... Although, really, we should say the opposite. Mystic two. Quest looks yeah. like... Yeah, Mystic Quest lo- looks like this. Mm-hmm. And a lot of the Final Fantasy games kind of look the same, going from 1 through 5. 
Six, I think, was the first game to look really different. And then it just went crazy from there. Like, even some of these enemies look like, um... What was the guy's name? Uh, Kawazu. I can't spell his name. Like, just type in K-A-W-A-Z-U. I think it's K-O-U-Z-I. This is why I'm not Japanese. Is, is, do you know his last name? <laughs> no, that's his last name. Oh. Just look up uh, Final Fantasy 2 in the wiki and you should be able to find it. So, like this, Mystic Quest. the Saga series and uh, this game have a lot in common because they have non, uh, non-experience non based level ups. You oh, level up based on need. If you get kicked, uh, if your butt gets kicked in battle, then you tend to get. Ooh, ambushed. Missed. Oh, it's a golem. Ooh. It's a mountain golem. Two of them. But you're not in a mountain. So if you get yourself beaten up pretty badly, you get more HP. If you dodge more attacks or try to run away a lot, you get agility. If you use up all your MP, you get more MP. Lots of weird things. Okay, these are the games that he is involved with. One and two, the Final Fantasy. Uh huh. And two, he was the lead developer. He was the game designer. That's what I mean. On both one and two. Yeah, I was about to say. Never mind. Uh, Nasir is the person who uh, actually like programmed it. Legend, Final Fantasy Legend one and two. Uh huh. Which were the first two saga games in Japan. Uh huh. And then he was romancing Saga one and two mm -hmm. and three. Did he make Saga yeah, Frontier? One, two, yeah. Both of them. He produced producer and director of one, producer of two, Legend of Mana, some Chocobo game, which I don't think we ever got. Like Chocobo's Mysterious Dungeon? No. Hat I was about to say, that was a US one. Hataraku Chocobo? That might be the same thing. I don't know. It might be the same game. Um, Crystal Chronicles. Uh huh. Crystal Chronicles. Uh, <laughs> 12, that, that makes sense. Final Fantasy 12. <clears throat> yep. Just terrible. Um, more Crystal all... Chronicles. <laughs> more Chris uh, Crystal Chronicles Ring of Fates. And My Life as a King. <laughs> and the Crystal Bearers. Poor Crystal Bearers. That was a game that actually looked really good in development, but I haven't heard too much good about it since it came out. It seemed like a nice, like, dark take on the Crystal Chronicles series, which seems to be very happy-go-lucky oh, and what? friendly and... What? Uh, Are you ever towards, towards, towards the end of the first Crystal Chronicles, it got pretty crazy. I mean, they're, like, people are racist in that game. <laughs> Including our own party members. Yeah, but... Uh, only one of our party members. <laughs> no, like, but, like, Disney <laughs> movies are racist, too, so... And they're happy. Like, we went to a city and... If certain races talk to them, they just would ignore you. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. Luckily, we had two of the races, like two of the same yeah. race that they liked. Oh, Furion got stupider and stronger. We got like a maze going on here. Funny. <laughs> we just we just finished Crystal Chronicles about like a, like almost about a month ago. <laughs> <laughs> How, long How long did that take? <laughs> How long did that take? Uh, over a like year. year and a half. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> but hey, we're done now. To be fair, a majority of that we just weren't playing. Yeah. <laughs> we had just too much watching. Other, we had too much other stuff to do at the time. Just not doing it. Like people getting married and going through How like, dare school they? and all this other stuff. <laughs> and just not wanting to do it. <laughs> Oh, well, that that's that's yeah. the only problem. That's the only problem with having a huge project. Hey, we have we, a lot of people involved. We got it done though. So, in case you guys want to, if if you guys have been watching Mitch's channel, also been watching my channel, go check it out. We're Which I'm sure now. a lot of people have come to my channel because of these channel. I definitely appreciate all the promotion I get from you guys. Indeed. But yes, Mario RPG should be finished soon too. Yep. Yay! Yeah, we only have one did y'all get a Did y'all get a lot done oh, there? We oh, we got three, oh, three, oh, three, yeah. hours. three hours. Yeah, we got three hours worth done. Which is a huge amount in a short game like that. Yeah, yeah. So we're, I think I beat it in like nine or in, ten hours or something silly like that. And I just went through the uh, the extra backtracking video today. Oh, so, I got even uh, faster. Yeah. So one more segment, we're done. Should be about an hour and a half, maybe. maybe. To do that. And I like how these these are gateways. So the only way you can go back now is to either cast warp, which takes you back some floors, or uh, the exit spell. 
which oh, takes you out of the dungeon but drops your HP. Yes. Warp does not drop Those your HP. are doors. Yeah, warp doesn't drop your HP. That's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Now, do you know which way we're going in this? Yes. So he says. Remember, I beat it. So you can avoid the doors that lead to empty rooms. Actually, if you were reading the blog, this is uh, this is like the only spot where all the doors take you somewhere useful. A video or did not happen. See, I read the blog, but I didn't uh, catch it. I don't remember that portion. <laughs> it was uh, where I was getting the treasures. All right. The Mazamune, <coughs> the Genji equipment, and a ribbon. All right. However, most of the things that I got from there, I already had, except for the Mazamune. So screw that area. You almost didn't get the Mazamune, right? I almost didn't get the Mazamune. Thankfully, I happened to be looking at a guide. So wait, the Mazamune was here or in passage? It's in here. If you haven't uh, seen the passage, definitely check it out on the previous, on the last two posts. There's a segment where if you walk behind a waterfall, there's a guy who has a magic shop. And this is a thing, this is like a passage that opens once every 500 years or something silly like that. So, he's got a really, like, dedicated customer base. Well, yeah, so you. This is the location that the, the waterfall was damaging you every time you went in it? Yeah. Because I was warbly warbly. <laughs> <laughs> He's the best demon, but he still dies in like a hit or two. He's the best man. He did. Hey, I did a treasure chest. Yeah, that had oh. Astaroth in it. Not from Soul Calibur. I was about to ask. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? Isn't that like a person? I think so. I want to demonstrate running away. Just Furia, though. Wait, the rest of the party's not gonna run? Well, I'm gonna try to fight just in case he fails. Oh, okay. Alright, back up, back up. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> you need to put, like, the. Um... This game has nice little touches. Like, if you flee, you, like, take steps back and leave. You need to put, like, it... the truck beeping noise. <laughs> <laughs> well, I made a gif of it, so I'll have to try to play with that later. And when you win a fight, you run forward, like, across the screen. Yeah. Over their bodies. Which I guess is what y'all were doing, you know, when you were playing the the choose your own adventure game. Oh, if you, when you win, when you win, you're adventure. moving on. Yeah, that that was that. <laughs> that was. Talk about what? I've already forgotten. Good. <laughs> <laughs> that was great times. Mm, not talking oh, about it. That was hilarious. <laughs> At the time of this recording, it is not up yet. The job has been super, super busy. The only problem is when you enter these, when you leave these battles, you're always facing south, so they get very disorienting after a while. Which direction? Now I was on the right side. Sounds like the word I would use right there is annoying. Yeah. That's why they fixed that sort of like problem whenever they, uh, whenever they made Quest sixty four. <laughs> Whenever you swear so didn't make Quest 64. They, well, they, well, they didn't make it, but like whenever Quest 64 was like around, like whenever you won a battle, like whatever direction you were facing beforehand, it auto corrected. I mean, it, it does that. I mean, that was nice. Now, too, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. I think that. so. Definitely. I mean, about three. Well, I mean, Final Fantasy 13, you're always going in one direction, so it's never an <laughs> yeah, issue. Game is terrible. Unless you walk backwards, horrible. then you're screwed. Final Fantasy. No, I think I think a lot of them do the Final Fantasy 2 thing where you show up in the same spot. But don't hold me on that because I may find an FF3 that is <laughs> completely wrong. Yeah, we'll laugh. Oh, Final Fantasy 12 was also that way though because, you know, the whole not having battles. Right. It's uh, real-time battles yeah. as opposed to uh, on a separated battle screen. Which is lame. I kind of like it for certain games. Final Fantasy XII, I found it a little too jarring. Well, I mean, if I want to play something like that... What's that? I'm perfectly okay with the real-time battles in XII. Twelve's a terrible game. I mean, they're okay, but you know. Uh, what I'm not liking about XII is the way the level system works. Where you beat up enemies and get experience points? Because no, that's a lot better license. than this game. That, the, the licensing <laughs> system, You have to have a license to wear a hat. Yeah, that's silly. Hey, you I'm need you need a license to wear a police hat. It's called a badge. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's real life. <laughs>
<laughs> no, I'm pretty sure if you have a police hat, you can just wear it. Hmm. <laughs> like, I bet you... To a lawyer! <laughs> like, I think that they have, um... Oh, she got weaker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was say, where are you going?